medical community, we're now starting to talk about the impact COVID-19 has had on breast cancer diagnosis and treatments. In the Essex County area, screening mammography essentially came to a halt in mid-March until mid-May. Even towards the end of May, when screenings resumed, women were very slow to take advantage of this, in spite of the fact these places had multiple protocols and precautions in place. When the fear of the pandemic hit and women realized that they had to put their screening mammographies on hold, many of them felt reassured by the United States Preventative Task Force recommendation. The US uh, Task Force recommended that you could, in fact, do your mammogram every two years. And of course, this reassured women and they thought in some cases they could just skip this year. However, delays in diagnosis of two or three months could be a problem but delays in diagnosis of one to two years is an even bigger one. Because some breast cancers can advance rapidly, delaying months without detection could in fact limit your treatment options. Delaying them for one to two years could certainly increase the risk of death from the breast cancer. The women who detected an abnormality in their breast early on had faced other issues as well. First, there was the fear of the possibility of breast cancer and dealing with the COVID virus at the same time. Secondly, there was difficulty accessing their primary care doctors and GYN doctors for referrals. Many people didn't realize that the imaging centers were in fact open and doing diagnostic studies during, the, during this time. Screenings were put on hold, but diagnostic studies were not. As we emerge hopefully from the worst of this pandemic, a new difficulty is arising. Many of the women in our area worked in the service industries and have lost their jobs and some have lost their insurances. This is yet another reason why we have not seen women coming back as quickly as possible for their screening mammograms at this time. Here at the Women's Center at St. Michael's Medical Center, we have a spacious waiting area and follow strict safety protocols. We are far away from the emergency room and the inpatient wards where you believe you may be at risk of contracting uh, this virus. At this time, we're just encouraging all women to come out and get their screening mammograms. Please don't allow yourself to be one of the negative breast cancer statistics of the year of 2020.